Hey everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. You heard me ask, are we seeing the end of the real estate agent as we know it? Well, now let's give you some real life examples of these iBuyer companies. These companies, these huge tech companies that are buying the homes and saying, hey, it's easier, it's faster, it's less expensive, you're cutting out that terrible realtor. Here's a real life example of what happened. So a realtor that tried to sell his house found what ended up happening uh, with that buyer. So let's uh, bring this up on the screen. Uh, real estate transaction is broken. These are the tech companies. These are articles about how tech companies want to fix the real estate process and that they're uh, less expensive. They're algorithm powered home flipping platforms, you know, because there's, there's no commission you know quote unquote so there's no commission but there are other things these other things are pretty crazy first of all let's let's bring up this other graphic here so this is what somebody posted uh the they ended up buying the house the iBuyer platform bought the house at 330,000 they bought it from the seller at 330 they painted the interior that's all they did this realtor saw the property and knew what was going on in the property and they they have it listed for 361 bought it at 330 painted it listed it for 360 hmm so let's go over what the costs were on this actual property uh, because with the iBuyer platform they charge a 7.5 it's not called a commission, but it's some kind of a fee. We'll just say it's a commission, 7.5. When you get a realtor, they're typically five or 6%. 6% is standard, maybe you get a discount, but 6% because it's 3% to the listing agent, 3% to the person bringing the buyer, the real estate agent bringing the buyer. Licensed people that go through testing, that go through classes that are regulated, I buying platforms are not regulated. So 7.5 commission, already higher. The seller pays the customary cost, the title costs. Uh, the seller doesn't pay those, the buyer's supposed to pay those. Uh, they charge the seller a $250 disclosure fee, whatever that is. Uh, they charge the seller, this is the iBuying platform charging the seller, $5,000 for repairs that were never done, because all they did was paint the interior, plus a $3,000 fee that was paid by the seller outside of closing. It wasn't disclosed. By law, you have to disclose everything that's paid in the transaction on the settlement statement, the HUD settlement statement or the CD, which is the closing disclosure. Whatever that settlement statement is, it must be disclosed, but these people, uh, these tech companies, they're not regulated, so, so they're outside this. Now, I'm gonna talk about a petition here that, that is being pushed out there. So everybody in the industry, you guys need to pay attention and you need to sign this petition to get rid of what's going on. Um, but let's, let's dig into what exactly happened. The seller paid, when you add up all those fees and costs and the commission that's not a commission, they paid $37,000. Versus five to 6% would have been 16 to $18,000 in commission. It was $50,000 cheaper to have used a realtor because they also lost money in where they could have listed that property, the money they could have gotten for that property. So don't buy into this supposed better I buyer tech company platforms. Uh, big name companies are doing this. Sign this petition. Uh, there's either going to be a link below or a link in the bio or something to lead you to that link depending on which platform you're watching now certain social media platforms it's hard to put a link into so make sure you get on that please sign that petition thank you very much Phil Stevenson mortgage nerd